Katara Winfrey, they're reporting from Houston. And Mario, we talked about it this morning on daybreak. It felt like the storm just rushed in, but windows popping all over downtown Houston, yeah. streets covered in glass. Right, and, and we've been talking about Houston flooding for weeks now. I mean, areas of Houston have seen a four to five, six inch surplus for the month alone. But then we're talking about intense winds, and I wanna show you what radar looked like during that time. So this is radar in Houston. Thursday evening. It's showing you a loop between six and seven in the evening. I'm going to zoom in so I can show you a better picture of where the damage was. And right along that white line there, that's what's called a bow. We call that it's a radar signature indicating intense winds. Radar was estimating 120 mile per hour wind speeds before making its way into the inner loop here in Houston. In just 10 miles down, five minute difference. Look at what happens. We have this rotation. That rotation stays steady just to the north of Houston, but this bow continues with the similar strength, 100 to 110 miles per hour. Now the National Weather Service, of course, will survey these areas to really determine the actual wind speed because this is just an estimation. It'll also survey this area to see if it was in fact a, a tornado that touched down or if it was just the straight line winds. I say just very lightly and rain is not done. We are still watching another cluster of storms in South Texas that's heading into the Houston area this afternoon. The severe weather threat is much lower, but of course they don't need any more rain. There are six points along the rivers and streams there that are under a flood warning until further notice. Dia.